Hey guys, Logan. We're up to season two, episode 13 of Criminal Minds. Here we go. Nevada. <coughs> Body. Oh, psych. Arm. Table you should try Fat Sam's milkshakes. Cold and tired. You're also not from around here. Hey, Frank. You really should try the shakes. I'm a little sketched out here. What's your name? Derived from the name of a type of spear. I wonder what aspirations my parents had for me. Why don't we cut the crap, Frank? Where is she? Now that's direct. When I'm finished with my shake, you'll get what you're here for. But then, I'm going to get up, and I'm going to walk out of here. And you, and your lap dog, are going to let me. You know what, Frank? That would be a magic trick. <laughs> Damn! We already got him! Didn't realize this was gonna be that easy. Next 15 minutes we go in! Agree! 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 Relax! Strange Every freaking cage of a male was found in the desert road. One day earlier. Park, it was okay. never identified. This morning the remains of two It's gonna be one of these episodes. found in almost exactly the same area. The remains are related to the same killer. Where's he been for ten years? Killing. Unsolved case files. Where's he been for ten years? years? Killing. Good reason to be here and I'm from this department. What is it about death that fascinates us? He didn't contaminate the scene, did No, uh, Sheriff Georgia Davis? People call me George. This is Deputy Rick Silo. Aaron Hoshner. This is Derek Morgan, and the uh, guy who sometimes forgets his manners is Jason Gideon. <laughs> He's Stay just here, on a mission. Hope you tell me I'm wrong. Oh, myself. It's my husband. Da, That's our da, son. Da, da, <laughs> da, 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 at least one that passes through from time to time. Mm-hmm. So he takes the me. white rib cage. Well, welcome here. No, it's not us. It's what we represent. No, I don't want to go home. I know my rights. What are you looking at, Fred? Okay, okay. That's the way you want to take. Okay, okay, okay. A psycho with a whistle. <laughs> Cauterize the arteries by burning them. <coughs> Why? It stops the blood flow. The victims were alive when he cut off their limbs. See, he's gonna love this. That's disgusting. The only thing these two victims have in common is they were killed by the same one, so. There is another connection. I understand. I am. Strawberries, a strawberry milkshake. You were saying. This car involves wind shines, trailers, early abductions. Gripping. I thought I'd seen the very worst of what humanity had to offer to you. Can I ask you something? Please. Do you think me insane? Do you think me insane? Not playing me. You know exactly what you are. You've only ever cared about catching me. 
It isn't the victims that drive you, Jason. It's the hunt. <laughs> Sounds like uh, the voice actor okay, from... Frank. What's over? You are it. Tell Tell's The Walking Dead, who played, I think it was Vernon. Man, in season man. one. Young, old. If they are all connected, he's killed hundreds of people all over North America. How many years did they go back again? Thirty. All right, keep going. Sacramento, California. Lincoln, Nebraska. Gary, Indiana. Dude. Figure out where he's been. Maybe we can figure out the significance Wakanda has to him. This guy's wild. Want to hear the really bad news? Can it get any worse? Just did. What is that? Early toxicological investigations of the victim's blood indicated high levels of ketamine. Ketamine is primarily a horse tranquilizer. It's also used as a day break drug. And this vehicle is his killing room. It'll be soundproofed. Surgical instruments are on the walls. There's a stirrup chair or an autopsy table. All of his kills are recorded, if not on video, in a journal. Damn. That he carries with him in his right hand inside jacket pocket. <laughs> What's the matter, Frank? Something I said. You got him all worked up, didn't you? Beauty can cover a multitude of sins, but underneath, we all look exactly the same. Not until the story is done. We have roadblocks on every interstate, track or lane, in or out of this town. We'll shut down this state if we have to. Stop every RV, truck, and trailer. My car broke down. The engine went out on me, and you know, in those days they didn't have cell phones, so I tried to fix it myself. Then I felt a presence. I wasn't afraid anymore. I don't know why. It's 30 years ago. And did you ever see him again? Oh, I see him. See him every time I shut my eyes. Huh. The strange maps on the walls could have been anatomical drawings. What about the fact that she could see herself? Nobody closed the... Oh, oh she's not gonna leave anyways, never mind. So his victims could see themselves being dismembered. I don't know, I think it can't get any worse. It yeah, that's crazy. Her subconscious mind has created a delusion that she was abducted by an alien. It's possible she's the only one who survived. Why do you let her go? She said when she looked into his eyes, she felt relaxed. In that moment, the one thing that he wanted, she didn't give him. Yeah. Fear. That's wild, honestly. I read about a woman. He let her go because she wasn't afraid. Of reset. No! If this is a confession, start with the woman you just took. She had killed herself. What does that say about society? Society. It fills me with profound sadness. All right. But it doesn't make you I feel gotta figure out this guy's name. Buzz that society does not care for. He took a person of prominence. Someone that mattered to everyone. Why? That's an interesting question, Jason. Why? Why? Hey! Hey! Oh! Sir, do not come any closer. Oh, ma'am, that's my wife. Please put the gun down. Yeah, blowing his brains out so ain't gonna help. Shoot you. Sir, I said put the gun down. Goddamn now! No way. No way. That's an even more interesting question. Her head's in there. What's the psychopath got in the bag, Jason? Damn. Crazy son of a bitch. 
Even if you think you can get out of that booth and pass us, I promise you, those men out there will tear you to pieces. I rather doubt that. Finish the story, Jason. We set up an inch from my tip line, but all we've really got so far is white male, mid to late fifties, tall with a medium build. From the remains discovered this morning, we know he doesn't keep his victims long. You think he would literally just be with everybody else? I feel like he'd be by himself. How can you be so sure he's here? He could have left town when we found his remains. That's what I'm saying. Of all the cases where remains were found, yesterday's discovery was unique. That's one way of putting it. It's almost like he's purging his vehicle before he drives into town. Yeah, I don't know. It, it almost seems like the unsub is always traveling from east to west, passing through every state the same month every year. Huh. The remains that were discovered 10 years ago it was the same month as this, right? Right. And then for a week after that, the truck was dead. Yeah, it's like he takes a vacation in Golconda. So where is his RV? Oh, in storage. Wait till the morning. Wait? You can't wait. The men are tired, I'm tired. We got roadblocks on every road. Get in, she's right. A good wait till the first light. Do what you like, I'm gonna find them. It's gonna be a long night. Damn. I'm sorry, I gotta relieve my man and get back to the yeah. office. Yeah, I'll talk to her. Hey, Garcia. Ah! I like knocking. <laughs> Okay, well, I have been going over the tip line for hours, going over all the calls, and I think I found something. An anonymous caller claimed they saw an RV. Yeah. Firstly, not a single RV or trailer has passed through any of the roadblocks I checked. Secondly, why call anonymously? I need you to trace this number. It's 303-555-0126. Huh. Cell phone. Belonging to... Ah, oh, you said you didn't want to go home, and I couldn't leave you in jail. I'll make up the guest bedroom. Can I get you something? Soda? Thank you for being so kind. Hey, George, it's George. Love your wife. I miss you. Tommy misses you. Uh, I guess you're busy catching bad. Is he good to you? Never since I met him. We're both 15. Great, Jess? What the hell? Who the hell are you? Oh my god. We are, Jamie. I want you to back off. Come with me, Jay. Man, he's not. It's alright, he came for me! <laughs> Run, Jay! Oh, shit. Run, please! No way! Oh, he's killing her? Is that why she's not in the present? She's not here. So he takes control of George and goes after what he came here for. Crazy Jane. Those footprints, they gotta be Jane's. They go to the back. She escapes. The end stuff knows the ketamine's gonna wear off, so he's gotta act. No, he hasn't got what he came here for. So if the leverage he takes the sheriff, which means sooner or later he'll contact us. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. came back on in the middle of town. Let's do this. It affects me, Jay. Which means he wants to trade. Whatever he wants, we need to find Jay and show him fast. You go to town, we'll go to Jay. Guys, these wind chimes are made of bone. I think it's human rib bones. Ew. Ew. That's borderline Ed Gein-like. Table and then there we go. Finally, you walk into my life. Please. Completely empty. She's not here. I'm trying to say you think he keeps coming back here because he's in love with her? Huh? And it's impossible. No the sexual sadist can't feel love. No, but find love. It chemically involves surging brain elements called monoamines, dopamines, norepinephrine, and serotonin. 
Love chemicals controlled by phenylphthalamine, also found in chocolate. I love chocolate. Peas, too. It's also found in peas. Peas? Right. Indeed. So they really become veritable love. Stop, please. <laughs> Spread out, everybody. Keep looking. <laughs> there it is. Oh my god. Watch. There's another coffin here. Oh my god, she's alive. You take another step and I will shoot you. No, you won't. What is it that Jane said to you? She looked into your eyes. It would have been enough. She said something. What? It's important. I'm a sexual sadist. I can't feel anything. Remember, you said so. Yeah, I don't know absolutes when it comes to the human mind. They just found this trailer. I looked at her like I've never looked at a woman before. My hands began to sweat. Get in. We got George, she's alive. Get on the floor. Take it easy. Go. Take it easy. What is happening? No. That's impossible. Magic time. What? What happened? Just a little one. You profiled me, Jason. You know I have no interest in harming children. We will find them. We have helicopters, dogs. The desert is over 25,000 square miles. You shut up! And what with the rising coyote population? If it's Jane you're after, we don't have her. Yes, you do. He leaves these wind chimes as gifts. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're not beautiful. They are the remains of people he took, tortured, and killed. He is not an alien. Beautiful, aren't they? Were abducted by a serial killer. But he did come for me. Didn't he? Not George. He, he came for me, didn't he? That's what he says. You told me to run, but I didn't want to run. I wanted to see him again, to see his eyes and see his face, and I don't know, somehow it just felt like I was coming home. Oh my god. Jane. Hey. Hand him over. Sorry. What choice do we have? Not this one. Dude, Tell this guy needs to chill. Tell them he needs to freaking chill. And, chill. and they'll have their children back. She part of this with you? Look at her, Rick. She's not a part of anything. She's as much his victim as you are. With Jane in my life. I will never harm another human. Oh, God. Leave her alone! Don't even think about it! They found me, Rick. They'll find the children. Trust them. Take me with you, Frank. Just you and me. And my G. You'll take me over the kids, son. How could I? I couldn't have that on my conscience. <laughs> what? What a psycho. <coughs> I will take a vehicle of my choice. Jason will drive. This is definitely one of the biggest villains, best villains we've had. Once I am satisfied no one is following, I will take Jason to where I have the children. I've been coming to see you for so many years to, to try and make sense of what I feel. Jason says I'm capable of feeling anything, but here I am. Where will we go? Wherever we want. Oh my god. Stop the car. 
I assume they're gonna take the car. I'm feeling right now will pass. And when it does, like all the others, he'll take your life. And then he will really feel. I don't believe he will. I don't believe you know what this feels like. If you did, you would not be here. <laughs> You'd be with the one you love. I'd say we should call the army. Or the children. Have a predator missile. Just hit the car yeah. as they drive away. Two miles. Airstrike that car. No deal. So you're just going to stand here with me. Put a good insanity. <laughs> My hope is that one day you'll feel the way I do too. If I ever find myself feeling the way you do, I'll kill myself. <laughs> Call me first. I'd love to pick your brain. What the hell? He's gonna get away. He said two miles that way, right? You're gonna run? There's a car! He got away. He told you where they were? They were just over that ridge. Where did he go? West. All units, all units, we have the children. Get search planes out. Start a grid search westbound from this location. We'll find them. Dude. I'm labeling him the magician. That was a hell of a good villain. A hell of a good villain. Um, and the fact that he got away makes it even better. Even more interesting. Um, that's wild to me. Just absolutely wild to me. Um, wow. <laughs> and I, I already saw the next two episodes. My bad. I mislabeled them. So, I, you know, I, I thought they were 11 and 12, but no. So, yeah. Um, he's the magician. I'm calling him the magician. And um, the other guy who's coming up next, who I also think is one of the best villains we've had, he, I, I call him uh, Killing for Jesus. <laughs> so, those two best villains so far. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully I don't make a mistake like that again. This is the first time it's ever happened, so chances are very slim that I accidentally watch episodes in advance prior to the episodes that I'm supposed to watch, but I guess anything is possible. Um, like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I will see y'all next time.